my vengeance. How's it going everyone? Hope you're having an awesome day so far. Wraith here from Rip and Tear Gaming and wow, we finally got the full trailer for Doom Eternal, The Ancient Gods Part 2 and it is awesome to say the least. I am so excited for it and the great thing is, is that it's actually going to release tomorrow. So, well of course March 18th for those in the future who get to watch this video. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little breakdown since this is coming out real quick. The actual you know dlc so if you're new here and love doom and similar content then consider subscribing and setting up notifications so you can stay up to date with everything on the channel really do appreciate all the support here on the channel it really does help me stay motivated to keep providing this type of content for you guys so all right well, let's get started all right so starting off here of course with the uh the trailer it definitely kind of starts off with the slayer talking with uh, the dark lord and first of all i want to point out right here we do see Something very similar. You know, for those who have played Doom 2016's multiplayer, this armor is gonna look very similar to the Catalyst armor. So I did a little searching and I thought, I'm like, man, this armor looks so familiar. And so lo and behold, that's what it is. It's from Doom 2016. It's gonna be interesting what these guys are, whether or not they are actually demons or native to Jakkad, maybe the uh, the Dark Lord's royal bodyguards or whatnot that haven't actually become demons, or maybe these are actually the Sentinels who have changed sides. So I guess we'll find out. But of course, one thing that's really cool about their weapons that these are halberds, not spears or axes. This looks really cool because this energy doesn't, it almost looks a little bit different from Argent Energy because Argent Energy is more red. This is more orange. And so it's a little different. So I wonder what we'll find out a little bit more about this kind of weapon from the Codex entries. I guess we'll find out. And then of course, moving on here, of course, now real quickly here, you can also see these type of hell soldiers, let's just say, they also have a weapon that looks very similar. Now, if you look real closely, of course, this actually looks like the Reaper from Doom 2016. So it looks like id Software is definitely bringing a lot of influence back from Doom 2016 into Eternal. And I really appreciate that. That's really cool. So that's just a little detail I wanted to point out. Now, of course, moving on, we do see, you know, that he's talking to the Doom Slayer a little bit more. But of course, one also thing I wanted to point out with his armor is that you can see some slashes right here as well as some wear and tear. So with his armor, it definitely is something that has had some use. It wasn't something that he just created right away. He could have, but I'm really thinking that he had this armor, you know, back when he was in full power of Jakkad before the father took out his life sphere. So that's really interesting because then that means that this is his armor. This is unique to the Dark Lord, just like the Praetor suit to the Doomslayer. And so it's really cool to see how his armor is just huge. You know, he, he might be compensating for something, I guess, but <laughs> but other than that, it is definitely something to point out that he's definitely used this armor, at least in his climb to power throughout the Dark Realm. So, all right. So then moving on, of course, we do also see real quickly here, the Lost Souls are actually going to be a little bit more prevalent throughout the DLC because that was a thing about Doom Eternals that we didn't really see the Lost Souls by themselves unless it was part of a secret encounter or of course just through the pain elementals so here we actually do get to see them by themselves a little bit more often i think there were a few other times that you did get to see the lost souls in the campaign but not too often like this flying around with the other demons so i think it's really cool to see that and then of course moving on we do get a really good shot of the world spear this is just going to be an awesome environment to explore with uh now something pointing out here when you do listen in the background you do get to hear the father say something i can't really pick it out if you guys know what he says definitely let me know but of course we'll figure that out tomorrow anyway so but of course we do have another version right here of these soldiers with these halberds now that's what i'm really thinking is that there are versions of sentinels that join the dark side i guess and because they have these halberds they have very similar armor it almost looks like the catalyst armor as well just in white so i guess we'll find out a little bit more about who these guys are these might be kind of the protectors of the wraith sepulcher or at least what was mentioned in doom 2016's codex entries but anyway this is where the wraiths would have resided during their time in argent Dunur. so of course here you can see that there's like a type of beacon that's set off that is definitely a huge call out to the lord of the rings the return of the king when they light the beacons of gondor and so you can see that all these sentinels you can see it they all know what's going on that they know it's time to fight back 
against the forces of hell. And it's cool that you get to see in these different areas that we got to see in Sentinel Prime. This one's more of Exultia. And you can see the same kind of armor on these Sentinels, but these ones have these spears. So we're obviously gonna see different variants of Sentinels. And then of course here, this is what's really awesome is that now we finally get to see the Doom Slayer riding the dragon. Now, that is awesome. That was a huge fan theory that a lot of people had is that if he was ever gonna get to ride the dragon. So we do get to see him ride the dragon, but I don't think that we'll actually be able to really control it. It's probably just gonna be a cutscene. But I guess, you know, we'll find out. You know, don't call me out on that too early, so. And then of course, it looks like He's just going to be using it mostly throughout the World Spear level. And uh, of course, pointing out here, this is something that Hugo is mentioning about Meat Hook Traversal, that there will be, I guess, some type of floating object that we can connect to. So that'll help us traverse the environment a little bit faster. So I, that's pretty cool. So that'll be an easy way of traversing with the Meat Hook. Something now here, this is really cool, is that we do get to see the new Sentinel Hammer. And of course, it's called Hellbreaker, which is an awesome name for it. Two things I wanted to point out is that here this looks like this was the sepulcher of where the wraiths were at because you can see a statue of the wraith right in the background and then of course you get to see valen in a type of projection um, handing the hammer over to the slayer so we know that valen's not dead but yet we see him in this type of projection talking to the slayer he gives the hammer to the slayer so back in the exaltia level with king novik we see the exact same projection. To me, I'm thinking that King Novik is still alive. We just don't know where he's at. So hopefully we get to see a little bit more of him down the road in the DLC. I don't know, maybe not, but that's just something I really wanted to point out. And of course, here we do get to see really cool, I think this was a UAC base at one point. And we have the dome, which we'll see in just a moment. But I think this is gonna be a really important place because there's just gotta be something at least like a gateway straight to Imora, because the next level is going to be right after this one is Imora. So there has to be some type of teleportation or something very important that's within that dome there. Of course, here we do get to finally see the uh, Armored Baron in action, which I think he looks so cool. And it's really interesting. So first of all, this is gonna be a long fight or very interesting fight with the Baron because first you're gonna have to break off his armor. And then as you can see, he still has full health as far as his armor on his skin. So it's gonna be a kind of a two phase fight with the Baron. So if anything, it's almost gonna be like fighting two Barons in one. So that's gonna be really interesting to see for sure. And of course, we get to swim a little bit more than we see the stone imps in action which I think is really cool of a concept. This place here is probably gonna be part of the World Spear. Now this definitely looks like it's in the dome and it looks like they're finally bringing back Sentinel Crystals again, so that's cool. And it looked like that was a teleporter of some kind that brought him into Amora. That's probably what's gonna happen. Then of course we see, I think is the best part of the DLC trailer right here, is <laughs> an Atlan punching a Titan right in the face. That is all. That is just so epic right there. And of course, this is all like an end game esque type of scene and I just love it so much. And then we do see to see the different uh, Prowler here. This is, I think it's called the Cursed Prowler. So he's gonna be more green and I think this is gonna have like an acid effect if he hits you. So you definitely wanna watch out for that. And then of course we do get to see these guys a-holes again. Oh, I hate them. But of course then with the dragon, that's really cool is that he's going to at least be an ally in the fight. As you can see that he's burning imps there. So of course we see a lot of different fighting going on in the background. And then of course here, this is interesting where we get to see the seraphs kind of projecting themselves there. So I wonder what their purpose is going to be here in this area fighting the Dark Lord. And of course there's just more fighting here. We get to see the Sentinel Hammer more in action. And then of course here, oh yeah. This is gonna be an epic fight for sure. The two details I just noticed real quickly here is that yes, he does have a shield, which I think is gonna add a little more difficulty to the fight. But then also here at the bottom, you can see, I think that's an ammo pickup for the Sentinel Hammer because it does move a little bit as you can kind of see just very quickly. So I think that's what's gonna happen. But other than that, that's pretty much the whole breakdown of the trailer. Let me know if you guys noticed anything else that I had missed and, but I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to play it. I will definitely be doing some playthroughs. I'll definitely do a lot more videos on the lore and other theories 
series or whatnot because this is it guys this is the end of doom eternal as far as like dlcs for the campaign this is the end of the doom slayers crusade so we're gonna find out what is even gonna happen for the next doom game so hope you guys are excited just as much as i am if you liked what you saw here definitely consider subscribing and sharing this video so we can get it out there more also check out my social media accounts at rip and tear gaming hope you guys have an awesome one and until next time don't forget to rip and tear peace